Hey everyone, it's Ken. DVD for the past few days has been pretty buggy. If you've been living with a rock, you probably don't know this, but overall DVD has been a pretty unbalanced experience, and I do think the root of the issue is the PTB and the way it's structured. Now, I do want to preface this and state that I do have some experience in coding, specifically coding video games, so I do have a bit of a unique perspective to put on this, as some people will simply speak out of their ass and say, how did you let this bug slip through? While some bugs are inexcusable, some aren't. Now, this is not going to turn into a defensive behavior, as they don't really need it, as I do believe that they are fairly criticized, but there are some people who speak out of their ass and don't quite understand how code works or how isolated environments work. So let me go on ahead and set the stage for you. Whenever a version of the game is in the isolated environment, otherwise known as the developing stage, a lot of different issues that could happen won't. And sometimes when the update is pushed to live or Steam in general, it can cause a lot of issues. Issues that developers didn't even see. However, like I said, this isn't quite an excuse as we are given a PTB and a lot of times the bugs in the PTBs go on to live. Now some bugs do get fixed and some don't. And sometimes we don't even notice bugs during PTBs or only some people do and it ends up getting pushed to live and then everyone makes a fuss about it in live and we have to wait roughly a week for it to be fixed. If you don't get what I'm referencing, I'm referencing the most recent bug that has plagued DVD which was the double generator bug if not more. The way this bug worked is that if somebody died and then went to the main menu, it would actually add an additional completion to each generator, meaning if you complete a generator going forward, it would act as two rather than one. And then if another survivor died, it would add another one to it. It was kind of crazy. And I do think if there was plenty of testing, we could have gotten quite a lot of these bugs reported to the developers, and they probably could have fixed it before it went to live. Unfortunately, the PTB is just problematic in general. So in this video, I want to discuss some potential changes and or fixes or overhauls of the PTB system. Do keep in mind that this entire idea is simply just a brainchild of mine and doesn't quite have a lot of fine tuning. Of course, if they want to put this stuff out as an actual change, they will need to change some things, make things more refined, and overall make it better. But this is a basic blueprint idea I had in my brain the past few days. I think my biggest issue with the PTBs is mainly the time. May it be how long they last and the distance between PTB to live. I do think both of these need to be extended. The amount of time that the PTB lasts needs to be extended maybe by double and the same if not more needs to be done between PTB to live. I do understand that some licensing agreements with some license holders simply will not work with this so maybe in the future this could be done instead of right away. But I do generally think that having a longer PTB and also having a longer distance will allow for more bugs to be reported and a lot more bugs to be fixed. However, a lot of players aren't really incentivized to play the PTB past the first couple of days because unless there's a new killer, new map, new survivor, players who play the PTB tend to fall off a cliff. So there needs to be some kind of incentive system to incentivize players to play the PTB over live. And I do think the easiest way to do this is bug reporting. A PTB exclusive bug reporting system could be enacted where you can set a time of where you encounter the bug, give specific descriptions, maybe even category, and report it on the developers. And the developers end up seeing your bug report or end up following a certain criteria and that bug itself is fixed, you can be compensated in live. Maybe 100,000 blood points per report that is actually valid and of course if it's the same bug and you report it four times it only counts one. Now of course I do see the possibility that players will simply find the shit ton of bugs and put them on the reddit so people can report them and get a metric shit ton of blood points. So here's what I think. Max out the possible rewards at 5, meaning you get 500,000 blood points and once you hit the max you get a certain amount of iridescent shards, let's say a thousand. And then once the PTB is over and once the update gets pushed alive, that's when all those rewards get added to your account. Now of course this isn't going to prevent behavior from being behavior and releasing unfinished updates, but I do think this would be a nice step in the right direction to be able to fix the game's current problems and prevent a huge amount of issues coming out and game breaking issues from coming out. Simply allowing us to have more time with the PTB and allowing the developers have more time to fix the PTB so when it comes out alive, it's just a much more polished experience. And by adding an incentive system, you would incentivize players to play the PTV over live to hopefully not only get resources, but also make the game better when the update does come out. 
Now, will this cause the player count to surge for the PTV whenever they come out? No, I do think it will still fall off a cliff after a day or two. But I do think the remaining players would be dedicated enough to try to find as many bugs as possible and report them as much as possible. Now, while this is a pretty small and basic idea, I do think it would be a huge step in the right direction and overall be better for the community, be better for the developers, and be better for the game as a whole. If you have any difference of opinion, please do let me know in the comments. Maybe you have some additional ideas of what they could do for the PTBs, or maybe you think my idea is absolute dog water and should tell me to 1v1 you in Fortnite, whichever one works for you. But yeah, I do hope you all enjoyed this video, and without further ado, hope you have a nice rest of your night, morning, wherever it is for you. Bye.